An insider's perspective, we bring in former NSA technical chief, Bill Binney. The bottom line, AT&T helping the U.S. spy on the Internet, vast scale. Bill, we're glad to have you with us. So AT&T, as you just heard my colleague Peter Barnes talking about, providing the NSA with billions of phone records, billions of emails. What are the chances this is still happening? Oh, I think it's absolute. I mean, that's the main reason I left NSA back in October of 2001. That's when they started doing the bulk transfer of data on every U.S. citizen using a telephone that they had record of. Uh, but since then, I mean, it's expanded. I mean, this is the AT&T program now. It's called Fairview, and they've got taps all across the United States, between 80 and 100 taps uh, across the network getting uh, the fiber data, both for telephone and for Internet. So, Bill, so, what do you say, for example, I am assuming you told your bosses, if you're talking with us about it, that the reason you left the NSA is, I'm assuming at some level, because you felt it was personally unethical to spy on citizens. Is that the reason? Well, it was a violation of the First and Fourth Amendments, primarily the Constitution, simply because when you pull in all the phone records, it's not just the to and from. You could do a reverse look up on the phone book and find out who it is and where they live, and then you could see everybody they're associated with. Well, the First, the first Amendment says you have the right to free association. It doesn't say you have that with the, with the understanding that NSA needs to know about it. So, and Bill, course, I want to just it, take the, the opposite point of view, just for argument's sake. <clears throat> what did you say to your bosses? Because I'm sure you had numerous debates when they just said, look, surveillance is a necessary evil in the post 9-11 world. Uh, surveillance has always been a necessary evil, but it doesn't have it has to be directed. This is bulk acquisition of everybody in the United States. It's not directed. And you could certainly do that by a warrant. That's not a problem at all. So, so that was always possible. So essentially, you're saying that these larger nets that are being cast, those are the ones that go against the Constitution. Yes, and they also bury the NSA analysts. That's why they're failing. And I used the Garland shooting in Texas a few weeks ago. Uh, anonymous, uh, two people, I think one or two people from Anonymous had tipped the Garland police off that they were going to be, that attack was going to occur two days before it hit. And why and wasn't that caught community? in your view? Well, because our intelligence, well, I mean, they were ready for it anyway, so. But our intelligence community didn't tell them anything. And the difference is the intelligence community is looking at bulk data on everybody in the planet. And Anonymous was looking at a very focused set of people who were involved in terrorist activity or threatening that and focusing on them to watch them. That's what our intelligence community should be doing. That's what the FBI should be doing so that they can succeed instead of fail every time. They fail in Boston. They fail in Times Square. They fail in, in Texas. They fail, you know, at Fort Hood. They keep failing. Why? Because they're buried in, in data. This has already been uh, published also by from material from Snowden where internally in NSA, the analysts at NSA are saying, they have too much data. They can't get through it all. They can't figure out what's happening. Well, big so, data, as you rightly point out, Bill, is useless without analysis. We're glad to have you with exactly. us. Bill Benny joining us there, NSA whistleblower. Well